please put your hands together for George Rayner. Hello. Wow, you really can't. Hello. Okay, you really can't see anyone. Um, so when we were kind of submitting poems for the anthology, Jake was like, "No, you like you just can't do an epic. We just don't have the space." So I wrote an epic. Um, <laughs> Um, so, um, so the epic is a series of kind of um, fragments from Babylonian. So this is kind of about four thousand centuries ago, um, and I'm not going to do the whole thing because it is an epic. Um, so what we're going to go into is the two main characters, Tantu and Abnu, have been eaten by the monster, and they've just recognised each other in the monster's belly. <clears throat> Eyes, memory flooded with childhood. Tantu spoke thus. I thought they took your life and with you the sky. Abnu's snow-capped head bowed lower than a burial under the house. A demon also swallowed by the monster pulled them out. Tantu prayed thus. Open country must be his father and... Duku's soft feathers moved as winds chased rivers and his walk planted flowery meadows. Tantu and Abnu returned to wolf howls as if landing leaves, Tantu under torture begged him thus let and grant me. I will fashion you sails of purple silk. Duku spoke thus, you are trying to lift the stars in the sky, but they're too heavy. You are trying to turn them, but Tantu spoke thus. The wind will bring your bones as... Tantu walked away like low tide, having left his riverbed open. Duku spoke thus. You have planted an orchard and never tasted its fruit. Like new snow, Abnu passed through Duku's eyes and under a valley slope. Abnu begged thus, let the wind bring your feathers as good news and... I will pay tribute to your mouth with gold and coral coins. Abnu's bolder eyes collapsed and spoke thus. Filth shall impregnate your loving lap and I wish to be your soil and mud. Tantu and Abnu took their instruments of prayer. Abnu, snow line silent. Tantu spoke thus, his walk is a burnt forest, his skin a desert and his hair a winter branch. Duku whispered thus, cypresses and pines weep sap for you, as do the river and the bank you used to walk. Speak and let the constellations vanish. Speak again and let the constellations come. Abnu took his axe and stroked its handle till the blade shot off like a star shocked by the melted snow. The heavens opened and his forest chest caught the rain. He began biting into a self-sacrificial skin as dawn had wished. Tantu, cold weather early. Abnu was not used to fighting, was thus shielded from his mountain lion's shame. Abnu whimpered thus. Could I give birth to a flood? Could I... Tantu, in the night, stole the mist inundated from the mountain and made a tear. Abnu held the seed in his hand like a plowman as the distance between the new and the full moon. Tantu and Abnu forever opened the gates in both ribs and put blood together, made houses out of the monster's bone and left the deathly silence of their father's bodies. Thank you. Square.